you know, I love doing YouTube and everything about it is amazing. I've had a very strange day today. I got to know that, uh, you know, I have a newborn, right? So the baby made, she's going for a holiday. I took off from work so that I can drop my kid to school, my other kid. And now I'm going to go pick him up shortly. And I was just reading my Instagram comments and somebody was complimenting my videos. So I said, thank you. And then they said, you know what, my birthday is coming up. And we were hoping, I was hoping that, you know, because I'm under financial strain, you could help me enjoy. I said, no, dude, you're on your own. Um, I don't know what kind of man asks for money from others for no reason, you know. And I don't care if you're 18 or 20 or 25 or 30 or 35 or 40 or 45. If you are asking somebody for money, I think there's something really, really um, screwed up about your way of understanding this world. And I'm not here to be angry about it. I just find it very confusing that people think it's okay to ask money off from others. And this doesn't, this doesn't just happen in India. In fact, in India, it's a lot less. If you notice people like Mr. Beast and Steve will do it. And if you go on their Twitter, people are always asking them for money. If you go on Tristan Tate and Andrew Tate's um, this thing, people are always asking and hoping somebody gives them a free handout. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel if I was the kind of person who took somebody else's money, I don't know what kind of person I would be. I'm so aware that I don't even like to go to people's house uh, unless I have a gift. And I always remember if someone has done more for me than I have done for them, and I always give them back, dude. And I think this is a very good habit I have. I don't like to owe anybody anything. And uh, um, there are a few people who, with whom when I go out, they always get the check, but it makes me very uncomfortable. You know, I always either like to get the check or go Dutch. Mostly I get the check. I'm that kind of man. And you will say, oh my God, this is probably because I'm from a rich family or probably because my father gives me money or probably just because I'm rich or probably because I am lucky. And you could be right about all of them. But there is no excuse to solicit money and there is no excuse to assume that you are in a disadvantageous position on this earth. The fact that you are young and alive, I think it should be good enough for most of you to use that as fodder for your self-growth. Stop asking people for money. Stop it, dude. You should not ask people for money or a loan or anything. And I think what this will do is if you stop asking people for money and if you truly believe that you are not so destitute in life, guess what, dude? You might just get what you've been asking people for. And that's money, dude. And there's no good way of asking for money, by the way. So if people think they're going to be very polite with me and calm with me and I'm going to give them money, I'm not. Recently, I gave a guy um, a bottle of Johnny Walker Blonde because he really, really, really asked for it. And I thought the guy must be desperate, so I gave it to him, you know. The next thing I know is that he sends me a, um, a video of him stacking the Johnny Walker Blonde amongst the many bottles he has. And you know what? I felt not much repentance at the time because I thought, you know what, dude? People who get what they want by whatever means probably deserve to get it if someone is poor it doesn't mean that they need they deserve the free whiskey similarly if someone is rich it doesn't mean that they do not deserve the free whiskey do you understand only if you work with this mindset will you ever escape this this scavenger hunt i don't know why i accept that scavenger hunt um We spend way too much time feeling bad about things we don't have instead of just accepting them the way they are and actually doing something about it. I think the sooner you get on with things and you accept the things for the way they are, you'll be better off. 
Sometimes when I know that my trainer is coming, I start feeling this anxiety that, oh my God, I have to work out after one hour, I have to wake up tomorrow, I have to work out, I have to do this, I have to do that. But the truth is we are lucky that we have these things in our life. You know, it's a luxury, not an ailment or a disease.